I can't believe I'm saying this. Hey guys, I'm here back with another video. You might notice my voice has changed, but that's partly because I have a really bad cold right now. But I couldn't wait until I was fine to get this open because I'm really excited. Um, so this video is gonna be just a long, nice unboxing. We've got around ten cubes in here actually, and it was around two fifty dollars converted to Indian from Cube Lalo, of course. And let's just get the package open. So I'm gonna use a pen to open it up, like I always do at this point. Just get it like that. You gotta have the skills. And it's almost here. And it's open from one side, and now open from the other side. So here's the entire package. You might see a sneak peek of a few things inside there, but I'm just gonna set this to the side uh, a little far behind, and then get started. Now, first, we have a Moyu Weilong Pyraminx Maglev. Now, honestly, I don't know much about this puzzle, so I'm a bit um, uneducated when it comes to Pyraminxes, of course. But I bought this because I have a competition coming up and I needed a new Pyraminx. So it's just, I th from what the reviews and stuff said, it seemed like the best option. So I went and got, went ahead and bought it. So anyways, okay, how do you open this up? I want to try and make sure I don't break it. Okay, here we are. That's the cube. Looks like it has purple internals, which is quite weird. There's an accessories box. I will take a look at that in a bit. So let's just get the cube open for now. The cube is open. And chuck the plastic. Now, this feels new. I have been using the X-Man bell for like the last four years. So this is obviously new. I can see that this whatever these um, center holes are called have become way bigger. So without any further ado, let's get into four stones. Ooh. Ooh. So right off the bat, it's very fast. Um, a bit too fast, I'd say. I think I could slow this down though. But this is obviously an instant main because I basically don't have a functional pyramids right now. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's, I mean, it doesn't really get better than this, but it's really fast. Let's see the maglev. I've never really used a maglev cube before. Does this actually happen? Okay, maybe, oh, damn, that, that's, that's quite cool. But, obviously, let's see the tips. Tips are, okay. Do the tips also snap into place? Okay, that's, that's gonna be useful, I assume, because... Tips are usually like the hardest part of the solve, in my opinion. Uh, okay, let's just do one practice solve. Uh, please um, don't mind if I'm really bad at pyraminx because I haven't done it in a long time. So, I'm just gonna do that. Make the layer. I didn't mean to make the layer, but whatever. And yeah, that's the solve. <clears throat> let's take a look at what's inside the box. I'm guessing it's just a bunch of use, useless stuff, which I'm never going to end up using because it's a Pyraminx. So <laughs> let's just give it a check. Anyways, it's something. I guess that was meant to be a screwdriver. There's a core, there's a screwdriver, and there's this. I know what that is, and I think there's some other stuff. I, I, I'm not going to use any of this, honestly. I'm just going to lube it, if anything. Yeah, so, yeah, that's all for the Pyraminx. Let's set that to the side. Let's check out more of the box. Okay, so here we've got a YJ MGC 4x4 and a 7x7. Now, I needed these because um, I don't really have any good ones right now. So, I needed, like, replacements for those. And I'm pretty sure these are still the best ones. Out. At least a 7x7. I really like the X-Man 4x4, I've tried it, I have one actually, but I lost a piece and ever since I've been quite sad and I also lost a piece on this 
As you can tell, I'm quite irresponsible that way. So I had to get a new one, but that's okay. Anyways, let's get this open. This is just gonna be quick because I'm guessing most of you have seen this already. If you haven't, here you go. Let's just quickly open this up and give it a few turns. Keep the box to the side because I'm not gonna use any of the accessories for this. The only cube I'll realistically use accessories for is the GAN 11M. Just how I expected. Extremely good cube. And yeah, I, I'd say it's my instant main again. Uh, the middle layers are a bit locky, I don't know. But the rest of the cube seems to be really well. So that's all for the 7x7. Seven seven. I mean, <laughs> the 4x4. Four four. Now we go to the 7x7. Seven seven. I don't have any scissors or anything with me, so I'm just gonna try and do this. Come on, open. Come on. What is this? Oh man. I'm gonna have to make a cut of the video and not. Oh, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to. We got it open. That's great. That's really good. Ah, uh, okay. More plastic wrap. We're gonna take all of this and chuck it to the ground, which we will clean later on. And this is well. All this unnecessary packaging. We don't need any of this. All of that's gonna go in the bin, <laughs> mostly. I'm gonna use these for like cube covers. That's what I always do. Um, and again, I'm just gonna shut the box because I don't care about the accessories again. It's a seven by seven. I average like four minutes and 30 seconds on this. So I don't think it's worth it, honestly. And there we are. Let's do some four stones. Oh. Okay, so it's very dry. It has the same feel as the 4x4, but it definitely needs some lubing. That's for sure. I love the size of it. And obviously I love the shades. They're really nice and bright. So that's a good plus point. Um, but yeah, main 7x7. I don't have any other 7x7, so there's no other option. Peep the box. Oh, these are just some stickers I got for my can excess, which is currently my main so yeah 100% genuine cube care and there's a nice little um, thing there and then there's a bunch of other stuff a few more cubes to go first I'm just gonna get into these two these are a few budget cubes I've got um, and you'll find out why I got these in the near future in the near future there's a surprise coming, but I just need two by twos, hint hint. So, oh wow! Oh, I try, dude. I tried to get M slices. That's so weird. But, dude, this is seriously really good. It's a bit too fast for me. Uh, if you know me, uh, you know I like my two by twos really slow. But for like a budget cube, this is like two hundred rupees. I can see myself getting consistently sub 2 on this, even though it's non magnetic. It's really good. Another one. Those boxes are useless. And it's around the same. It's a little slower. Other than that, solid, solid cubes. For the price, Cube Lelo, uh, Drift Cubes, they're called. They're really good. Really solid. Solid puzzles. Uh, now we have a non WCA puzzle. Let's just check it out. This is a classic, actually. It's been around for years, like a lot of years. But I never got around to it. So here we are. It's a ghost cube. Now, this is basically a 3x3, three three, but like diagonal, if I'm not mistaken. So if you can see, I guess this is like an R. This is like a U. Or, or not. Maybe I've got it all wrong. Let's give it a shot again. R. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. This is the M slice I'm going to assume. This is R. Let's try the U again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm struggling figuring out how to turn this right now. And it's not solved. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, now it's solved. So I'm going to have to figure this one out. 
I'm not gonna go into too much detail there. But for now, oh, okay. So these are the main parts of the package that I'm really excited for. Um, this was Ram's recommendation. He said it would be really great, so I purchased it. And it's stickered because I still like my 3x3 sticker to some extent. And this is an RS3M Maglev, which is a budget cube. I think it was like 900 bucks, maybe, somewhere around there. So I think for that price, this should be great. I've heard it's great, so let's give it a shot. Um, how do you open this again? Okay, it's the same as the... Oh, they've changed their packaging quite a bit, actually. And this probably has all the nonsense as well. I'm just going to leave that to the side. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not really into the whole accessories thing. It doesn't make a difference in my solves. Barely. Only for like the GAN puzzles, because they have so, so many different customizations. Sometimes you have to do it, but otherwise, barely. Okay, so... Right off the bat, it feels a little heavier than the normal MF3 or S3M, but that's probably because it's maglev or heavier magnets, I don't know. Let's give it a few turns. Okay, so it has the same feel as the MF3 or S3, but it has that weak maglev feel, I think. So that's great. Also, it feels way better than my old MF3 or S3, because that was like a prototype. So I'm guessing that was a bit like off. But this feels great. Let's do a solve. This feels really good actually. Oh no. Oh okay. I, I can work with this. This could be my main. But we have to see the gap as well. So okay, let's do a solve. Oh, easy solve, huh? That was quite easy. <laughs> the fast solve. But yeah. I'm actually really liking this cube. I'm gonna do a couple of solves after the video and see. So yeah, that's all for that. Now to the main attraction of this unboxing. Um, where? How do I open this? It's not, probably not the best way, but it, it did something. Did it? No, 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 it didn't. I'm gonna have to look at the edges. There we are. This is how I used to do it as a child whenever I got toys. I should just break it from the edges, or like, bite it from the edges. I was brutal, but it worked, so, yeah. And here it is. I hope they got the color right, because I'll be really pissed if they didn't. Oh, nice! This is a cool cube box. And they did! Yes! That's... I love that. I, I love that. I love the black. I love it so much. It doesn't feel frosted because it's black. That's how you save money, guys. You don't need to buy the UV coated version when you could just buy a black version, my friends. Ah, uh, finance tips by Amir. Anyways, here's the accessories box. I'm just gonna close the rest of the box. Because, again, when am I gonna use this ever? It's just a memory. That's all it is. Let's keep that to the side. Oh, before we get into first ones, let's look at what's inside here. Just to keep you guys waiting for a bit. There's a bag. I'm just going to keep that there. I've got a lot of those. There's an AirPods looking box, which has... What is that? How do you open this? Oh, okay. Okay, this is like a toolkit, <laughs> guys. I have no idea what this is, not going to lie. Yeah. Oh, that's all it has. Oh, that is surprising. Oh, it has a screwdriver. But that's very surprising considering it's a GAN puzzle. But like, anyways, this is the main part of the thing. It's what I paid 6,000 rupees for. Uh, so yeah, let's get into first ones. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. You guys don't get it. After using the excess for four years or like three years or how much ever I've been using it, this is such a breath of fresh air, you don't get it. This has like that feeling of the SM, the OG SM, but also the stability of the excess and I love it. Oh my god. This, this is most likely going to be my main and if it's not then it's going to be this. 
or my XS once I re-sticker it because it's currently not WC illegal. But guys, I I should have got this earlier. Maybe I would be sub seven by now if I got this earlier. Maybe even sub six. Okay. Uh, realistically, not sub six, but you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean. But yeah, this is this is insane, dude. I needed I needed this such a refresher. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I really enjoyed the unboxing. I'm gonna try uploading more recent like nowadays. If you've stayed so far, um, comment uh, stay, <laughs> comment stay armor or something like that to give me motivation. Personally, IB has been really stressful. It's been a lot of work, a lot of school work, assignments, tests. I just had my exams. Now I have a little free time for a month, and then I'm gonna be busy with university and things like that. So, yeah, it's been hard to find time. I've been cubing, but it's been really hard to find time for YouTube, honestly. So, now that I have the time, I'm gonna try my best to utilize it really well, and I'm going to be uploading live streaming. Practicing for the competition coming up, which I'm really excited for, by the way. And yeah, thank you guys for sticking around with me through all of this. This cube is insane. Anyways, that's all for this video. See you guys later. And the old and classic. Peace out.